All right, so let's just talk about coercion vulnerabilities in general, right? Um, these are vulnerabilities that coerce your domain controller into authenticating back to us, the attacker, right? Petit Patam wasn't the first one to be identified. Actually, printer bug back in 2018 was found that was in the print spooler service. Uh, Petit Patam came later. Microsoft has released a couple patches, one in August 2021, the other being May of 2022. They're actually still struggling to fully remediate this vulnerability through a patch. Uh, Shadow Course uh, was then identified. Microsoft did silently patch that one in June of 2022. And then the last one being DFS Course, and Microsoft still doesn't have a patch at this time. And by the way, we're talking about ADCS vulnerabilities here, um, but if you still have net NTLM v1 enabled on your domain, a coercion vulnerability itself can actually be used to just take over the entire network because we can retrieve the NTLM hash um, just through that coercion vulnerability. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a demo here of Escalation 8. Okay, so first, just for a little bit of background here, we're just going to show the uh, DNS entry for RDC, dc01.bysurvey. Now we'll go ahead and request the certificate templates. Again, any domain user, uh, low privilege user, can request these certificates and review them for vulnerabilities. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, now, as you can see here, the CA actually has web enrollment enabled. In this case, it's just a default deployment of web enrollment that we'll be able to exploit. Next, let's go ahead and run responder. And the reason why we're gonna run Responder here first is just to demonstrate when we exploit Petit Patam, we're gonna see that authentication relayed back to us, the attacker machine. Okay, so we exploit Petit Patam. Let's take another look at Responder. All right, now, as you can see, the DC did authenticate back to us and actually used net NTLM v1. So that's a big problem. Now we'll go ahead and start up our relay. We're gonna head and point it at our uh, CA with web enrollment enabled. We'll specify domain controller as the template to use. And then we're gonna go ahead and exploit Petit Patam once again. Let's go ahead and see if we got a certificate back. Uh, and of course, yes, we did. Right now it's base 64 encoded. All we need to do to use this certificate is to base 64 decode it. We'll be able to use that base64 decoded uh, certificate to authenticate as the DC, as you'll see here in a minute. So we use certify to authenticate with the certificate that we just retrieved. Then we'll see if we can pull the NTLM hash. There you go. We have the DC hash, the machine hash for DCO2. So what can we do with this? Well, we can go ahead and pull 
all the domain hashes from the DC. As you can see, the attack worked. We pulled all the domain hashes.